Hi, and thanks for visiting the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. This video is about my new Clint fly line mat. We're going to focus on that. I'll show you the rest of the lineup of mats I have. This is the longest fly line mat, and not for long. Somebody's going to copy this. You know they are. Um, but let me show you what it looks like now. I've updated it. It is spring late spring going into summer 2022 this has been on the market for two years almost and it's a version 2.1 because 2.0 the mold didn't make so I had to start over okay the original looks like this and this has just the straight nibs on it I liked it I sold a bunch of these it comes in colors but no extra charge right now Oh, and just a reminder, this video supersedes all the other videos you see on my fly line mats. I'm not going to delete those, but this is the culmination of a lot of uh, intense uh, thought. And the original concept came between me and my friend Clint. We were on the boat and we were talking back and forth about needing something that's easier to hit. So that's how the origins of this long fly line mat came about. And it's made out of rubber. And so that's the way it used to be, just like this. Just had my imprint on the back with the uh, actual like made in Texas USA and my phone number so you can buy more. And that was that. And that worked well for a couple of years and then I started thinking, which is very dangerous for a Texan to start thinking. Started thinking and I wanted to kind of do a little upgrade, make another mold and come out with a new version. That would be the 2.1 which came out in spring. It's already shipping. Those of you who have ordered since April have been getting the 2.1. Those of you who order from this video or, or from now on will get the 2.1. And I think this is the end of the line for this design. Uh, so here is the 2.1. Great new design. I love it. I'm proud of it. Uh, I've sold a gob of them. Mostly, uh, well, actually, from the Bahamas to Oregon. So these things are selling coast to coast and internationally now. What makes uh, my mats different, uh, of course, is the length. It's still the same. Same length, 6 by 36 inches. It has the hash marks like it used to have. And, of course, when those hash marks are near you, I've also taken the time to create a dimple on 10, 20, and 30 inches. So you'll know where 10, 20, and 30 are. And the last one being the end of the deal is 36 inches, exactly, precisely, 100% true. On the back, we've added a couple of enhancements here along the way. I just started doing this as a further evolutionary process. Of course, again, it says made in Texas, USA, and my phone number, 940-380-0408. And you can text me and I'll, I'll, we'll do the deal, you know. I'm here to sell these things. But what else came on the back? I decided to put some dimples on the back for two reasons. One is for perhaps a, some suction. If it, if it just doesn't, they have really great suction to begin with. But I was like, okay, well, let's, let's use, uh, put some dimples on the back randomly. They're random. Everyone is different. Every one of these mats is different. I make it myself by hand. And then, um... Maybe it'll just add a little more, it'll push a little more of the rubber into the actual mold and out of just a blank space on the back. So that's, that's what those dimples are there for. And they're random, like I said. Now here's the kicker, guys. This mat fits right here on the side of your casting platform. You know, I saw some boats, 70, 80, 90 thousand dollar boats that had those sticky on type, you know, stick on ones on the side. To me, that's like putting a, putting a, a, a bumper sticker on a, on a Porsche that costs a hundred thousand, or a Corvette. I'll, I'll just say Corvette. We're not going to buy foreign. We're going to buy the new, new, the new vet. And uh, putting the bumper sticker that says baby inside or something like that. I mean, why would you stick anything on a, on the side of your skiff. For one thing, they don't stay on. If you double loop over that and pull your line to do something, guess what? Pop. Those things will pop right off. It happens all the time. They're too long. They're too flimsy. Don't do it. And that's how it works. So the big, big trend right now, actually, especially in Florida, I guess it's windy over there, two, two of these, one on either side, 
You can put one over here. Same fit. If you if, if you're a guy, if you're pulling, if you're a captain and you're pulling, you can turn the boat any way you want. You don't have to move a mat around to catch catch it out of the wind, catch your fly line out of the wind. So the Clint has a lot going for it. First, it's easy to hit. You don't have to look for it. You don't have to do any of that kind of uh, adjusting to finding that mat and throwing on the mat. You're on it because the size of this mat and the placement is perfect. There's no tack going up around one or a big old square one on the side right here. That's what gave me the original idea to change the mat was when I was down at South Padre Island on a guy's skiff and that's when that started percolating with me about the same time it started percolating with my friend Clint. So that's why it's the name of Clint. There you go. Two of these magical, magical mystery tour right here too. White is a standard color and there are other colors available at no extra charge right now and that will go through the rest of this year. This is going to be around for a long time. Let me just go off camera and grab these other two just so you know. Or, well, I've got one here. I've got the rounder. Now, I'm still getting a lot of orders for the rounder for a couple of reasons. One is, it fits right in front, like that. If you need something for the front, you can get three. Get one, two, and three, and you are spiked up. I mean, you're spiked, man. You're totally spiked. That rounder is good for for skiffs, and it's good for um, also good for kayaks and canoes and things like that. Other types of vessels, and even float tubes. I sell, sell these in Arkansas quite a bit, so that's an Arkansas deal. But there's another one, and I'm out of them, and that is a little shorty called the Tickler. The Tickler is a really cool one. It's got two holes in the end, so you can lash it on to anything. Whether you're, it's made specifically for your, your polling platform. So you guys that are, are polling and fishing alone, you can have a small, this is pretty long. You can have a smaller one that goes up top and then that'll catch your line and keep it from falling on your motor and down in the back of your boat and stuff like that. So this is the 2022 version 2.1, Clint version 2.1. <laughs> Did I say that already? I'm so proud of these. It's doing really well, and you can see the, the conical shape of the, of the nibs is totally different from uh, the original shape, which was the, the pointy, just straight up pointed ones. And um, I think this is it. This is it for this design. It'll be copied. It'll be knocked off. I guarantee it. Chinese aren't going to do it because they're, they're too sick. <laughs> but here in Texas is where it comes from. I'm the one that makes these. My name is Shannon. Make sure you check the uh, info down below. And down there is a link to the di directly to the page that has information on these mats. And then there's also a PayPal clicker there. You click on that and you can order. And it all goes through. It's lickety split. And you've got yourself a Clint version 2.1 2022 fly line mat. Thanks guys. It's a good one. Talk to you later.